Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, we are looking for patterns. I know it's not called that. It's called using strategies for addition and subtraction effects. But this is where you're really honing in on those um, patterns and looking for those different strategies to solve these um, problems. So I'm on page one, um, excuse me, 221. We're on lesson 10, session four, and you'll see some more tables looks like this and it says complete the example then solve problems one through four so up here i know it might be hard to see because of the glare let me fix that really quick um i have just the bottom row of that example so i didn't write the top row i just did the bottom row so it says blank plus three equals eight five plus blank equals nine blank plus blank equals ten so we're looking for patterns and um excuse me i feel like a sneeze is coming on so one of the things you could do is you could say okay when i know it goes this way this add end is the same so this add end is always going to be five that's a prediction that i have let's see if that is true because we're just looking for those patterns so i'm going to do three and i'm going to count on to eight however many fingers i add is what goes there three four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Nice. Now I know as this goes along this way, this five is gonna stay the same. And this add end is always growing by one. So every time I jump along, I'm adding one. So this would be three, four, five. Again, let's just double check and make sure that I'm right in that thinking. So. We're going to start at five and we're going to stop counting at nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have four. Good. So three, four, five. Five plus five, I know is 10. So it's five plus three is eight. Five plus four is nine. Five plus five is 10. All right. Now I've written down problems number one and problem number two for you guys to help me out with. Remember this first add end is always going to stay the same. So that is a pattern I know. I can see this first add end is seven. So I'm gonna fill in my seven. We'll just see again if I'm right. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I added seven fingers. So yes, seven plus one is eight. Now I need to figure out what goes here. Seven, eight, nine. So I'm going to put a two in there. Now remember, boys and girls, this second add end is always increasing as I move this way along the row by one. So one, two, three. Let's make sure that's right. Seven, eight, nine, ten. It is right. Awesome. So here I have plus one. As I go down, this second add end remains the same. Look, two and two. One, one. So again, let's just double, double check. Eight, eight, nine. Yep. Now, um, this add end across the first one is always the same. So this is going to be eight. Let's check and see if that's right. Eight, nine, 10. Yep, that's correct. So this boys and girls is what you would put in for problem number one, okay? Problem number two, it has two rows and one, two, three, four, five columns. And the first one says two plus blank equals six. Hmm. So as I move along this way, I know the add end is going to this first add end is going to be the same. Oh, and look, here it is, two. So I'm just going to make sure, yep, and two. So I'm going to put in my first add end is two. Okay. Now I don't know what's going to get me to six. So two, three, four, five, six, four. Oh, that's right. As I move this way, this second add end is increasing by one. Notice four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Good. So let's just double check and make sure that I did this right. I'm going to start with the biggest number because I have less work to do. I have less fingers to add if I start counting with the biggest number. Five is the biggest number, so I'm going to do five, six, seven. Yep, I got that right. Now let's solve six plus two or two plus six. Six, seven, eight. That would be eight. Seven, seven, eight, nine. And there's my nine. Again, boys and girls, notice the sum is increasing. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's only increasing by ones because I'm adding a one to this second addend every time. This first addend stays the same. Here I get two cookies and Mia gets four. Here I get two cookies and Mia gets five. Two cookies and Mia gets six. Her number is increasing, but mine's staying the same. Now in this next row, this first atom is going to increase by one. So two, this would be a three. Let's just check. Oh, three, three. So I'm going to fill in a three here. Now, as I move along, my second atom is going to grow by one, four, five, six, seven. Let's just see if I'm right. Three plus four, I'm going to start counting at four, five, six, seven. Yeah, good. Five. Six, seven, eight, that's correct. Six, seven, eight, nine, that's correct. Seven, eight, nine, ten, that's correct. So here I have seven, and my seven stays the same. My six stays the same. It's this add end that is growing every time in both rows. I know that's confusing, but we're really trying to look for patterns, and I hope you're starting to see those really cool patterns that are popping up. Turn a page, please. You are now on page 222, and you see some more boxes. Okay. Let's fill in the blanks. So they give us some blanks. They say four plus blank equals nine. So we're going to fill in that blank. And I'm going to write nine minus blank equals four. And nine minus four equals blank. So let's solve this. Four. I'm going to start at four. I'm going to stop counting at nine. However many fingers I add to my four when I get it to nine is my missing add in. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I added five fingers. So I'm going to fill in the blank there. Now I know 9 minus 5 is 4. And I also know 9 minus 4 is 5. The next one is 4 plus 6. And I don't know what I'm starting to subtract. We did it. Oh, they gave you both of them. I did not. So I'm going to start counting on with my bigger number because it takes less time. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So my answer for four plus six is ten. Subtraction only starts with the biggest number, so I'm just going to plug that in there. Now I know ten minus six is four, and ten minus four is six. Uh, problem number four has you filling in more blanks. So it has, um, let's see, it says six plus one is seven, six plus two, we have no, six plus three is nine, six plus four, we have no, there's one row. Okay, and then there's one more down here. It's nine plus one. So we're going to fill in the blanks. So we have to do six plus two, six, seven, eight. You could also remember that this boys and girls is increasing by one every time. Seven, eight, nine, then that must be Mrs. 10. Let's double check that. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Seven plus one, seven, eight. So if this is getting bigger as I go this way, it's going to get smaller as, this, as it goes this way. So one less than nine is eight. Eight, nine, ten. Is seven plus three a friend of ten? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, it is. Eight plus one is nine. Eight plus two is ten. Eight, nine, ten. That follows a pattern. And then ten. So going down here, look, I have seven, eight, nine, ten. It follows a pattern. Counts eight, nine, ten. It gets bigger. Hope you can see that. Is that better? Okay. Now, the next two pages, you're just going to keep doing the same thing. You're going to fill in those blanks. You're going to do addition and subtraction facts, finding those number bonds and number patterns. Good luck, my friends. I know you can do it. Bye.